Hello and welcome to the demonstration of developing a SOAP web service using TIBCO Active Matrix Business Works 6.1. This demonstration will show you how easy it is to develop and host a SOAP web service using TIBCO Active Matrix Business Works. We will test the web service using SOAP UI. Then we will see how simple it is to create a client that can consume the SOAP process. You will need to have TIBCO Active Matrix Business Works 6.1 installed on your machine. Tipco Active Matrix Business Works 6.1 supports SOAP 1.1 and SOAP 1.2 protocol. SOAP binding in Tipco Active Matrix Business Works allows you to create services and client based on the SOAP protocol. Messages created by SOAP binding can use HTTP or JMS transport for communication. Depending upon whether a service needs to be exposed or consumed, there are two types of SOAP binding, SOAP service binding and SOAP reference binding. The SOAP service binding allows users to expose a service through SOAP protocol. And the SOAP reference binding allows users to create a client that can consume a service using SOAP protocol. Let's get started by creating a TIBCO Active Matrix Business Works application. Create a new Active Matrix Business Works process. Click the Create Service icon displayed in the left corner of the process editor. The new service dialog opens up. In the new interface section specify the interface name as hello world and operation name as say hello. Click next and then finish. To implement the operation, drag and drop the say hello operation, and choose implement operation. Choose implement constructor operation option, if there are multiple operations in a port type. This adds two activities in the process editor. First activity say hello in is the receive activity, it initiates the process execution based on receipt of a request message for an operation of the process service. Here it is configured as a process starter activity. The second activity say hello out is the reply activity. This is a synchronous activity that sends a message in response to a request message that was received for an operation of a process service. Here it is used to send the response of the web service. It can also be used to send a fault. In the general tab of the properties for this activity you can configure the reply with drop down with output message or a fault. Here it is configured with output message. Open the input tab of this activity. The item input indicates the reply message to send. Schema of the reply message depends upon the output message of the operation for this reply. I am going to configure a sample text response for this activity. This is sample SOAP message response. We have created a service that can be exposed. Now we need to create a SOAP binding. Right click the green chevron hello world and select components followed by components process and create SOAP binding. The binding configuration dialog displays. In the transport configuration select HTTP as the transport protocol. Click on create shared resource button and click finish on the create HTTP a resource resource template. The default port used by this shared resource is 8080. The service binding is now created. You can create the concrete WSDL for the SOAP service created till now. Click the Generate Concrete WSDL link shown in the SOAP binding configuration screen. Select the location where you want the WSDL to be stored, I would like to place it in my desktop. Now click the Finish button, the WSDL is created on the desktop. If you choose to create it in the workspace then click the next button instead of finish and clear the embed abstract WSDL and embed schema checkboxes and click finish. This will avoid the namespace resolution error. You can override namespace URI, service name, host name, port number and protocol fields from the advanced tab before creating concrete WSDL. Let's run the application. This will deploy the SOAP service in Business Works runtime. We can test it using SOAP UI. Open the SOAP UI, select to create a new SOAP project and provide the location of the concrete WSDL that we had created. A sample SOAP request is created. Just provide some dummy input in the request and click on the Run button. 
and here is the output from SOAP service deployed inside BW Runtime. One validation is done. Now, we will also create a business works client process to consume the SOAP service. In the same application or a new one create an empty process. Here I am creating it in the same application. From the project explorer select the hello world port type and drag it onto the process editor. This adds an invoke activity to the process editor. The invoke is an asynchronous activity that calls an operation of a process reference. The process reference can be configured to invoke another process, sub-process, or invoke an external service through a binding such as SOAP. Let's add a process starter activity timer to the client process before the invoke activity. Also let's add a log activity after the invoke activity to validate the output returned from the SOAP service. Configure the output of invoke activity as input to the log activity. I am adding a small message as well. Before the application is run, just add some dummy input to the invoke activity. Now run the application. The SOAP service is deployed and the client process invokes the SOAP service. After receiving the output, the log activity writes it on the console window. Thus we have created a SOAP service, deployed it in Active Matrix Business Works Runtime, tested the service using SOAP UI. We also created a client process and all this in just few minutes. This completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching. For more content, please visit the Tipco documentation site docs.tipco.com and Tibor community.